In this video, we'll see how to find the middle terms of any binomial expansion. So we'll find the middle terms, middle term or middle terms of the expansion of a plus b the whole raised to n. Let's start with some basic values of n. Let's say when n is equal to 1, we can say that a plus b the whole raised to 1 is nothing but a plus b. Then when a plus b is raised to 2, we can say that that is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b squared. Let's take another one a plus b the whole cubed then that is equal to a cubed plus 3a square b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed and so on if we write a plus b the whole raised to 4 that would be equal to a raised to 4 plus 4 a cube b plus 6 a square b square plus 4 a b cubed plus b raised to 4. So if we are just asked to find the middle term or middle terms, so in the second case 2 a b is the middle term. But in the third case, there are two middle terms, 3a square b and 3ab square. These two are the middle terms. But in case number 4, when n is equal to 4, there is just one middle term, 6a square b square. So we can come to a simple conclusion. And similarly, in the first case, there are two middle terms, a and b. So we can easily conclude that when this n is an odd number. You can see over here n is an odd number. There are two middle terms. However, when n is an even number, here it's 2 and over here it's 4, it's an even number, there is just one middle term one middle term. In this case, the second term, this is a square is the first term, 2ab is the second term, b square is the third term, so the second term is the middle term. Okay. Over here, the third term, a raised to 4 is the first term, so this is the third term. 6a square b square is the third term, and this is the middle term middle term. So, if we generalize and if we try to make a formula, the formula is very very simple. Let's learn that. So, if n, which is a plus b the whole ratio n, the value of n is even, we have just one middle term one middle term and that middle term is nothing but n plus 2 the whole upon 2 th term now let's take an example over here the value of n is 2 so we had the second term as the middle term and over here the value of n is 4 both are even and over here we had the third term as the middle term so let's substitute <coughs> and say that when n is equal to 4 which term is the middle term so 4 plus 2 the whole upon 2 th is equal to 6 upon 2 th is equal to third term third term is the middle term so we just got to know that the third term is the middle term but we still don't know what the third term is so in order to find the third term 
it's very simple we can write the formula t r plus 1 is equal to n c r a raised to n minus r b raised to r so when n is even we have just one middle term and that is n plus 2 the whole upon 2 th term but what if n is odd if n is odd it's an odd number then we have two middle terms two middle terms number one the first would be n plus 1 the whole upon 2 th this number of term and the second one would be n plus 3 the whole upon 2 th so there will there are two middle terms n plus 1 the whole upon 2 and n plus 3 the whole upon 2 th we can write the same formula for example we can write this formula in another way also it could be written as n upon 2 plus 1 th term okay and uh, we can also write these two as um, let's say n upon 2 plus 1 upon 2 th. I think this one is a better one rather than writing n upon 2 plus 1 upon 2 th. But of course we can write this as n upon 2 plus 1 th. Now let us take an example in order to understand what does this entire thing mean. So let's take an example. Find the middle terms of the expansion and let's take an expansion x raised to 4 minus 1 upon x cubed the whole raised to 11 so we are asked to find the middle terms middle term or middle terms so as we know that uh, this x raised to 4 is our a minus 1 upon x cubed is our b and this is 11 this is our n and in this case our n is a odd number it's an odd number so we have two middle terms this time the first middle term is n plus 1 the whole upon 2 th And of course, the second middle term would be the next term, n plus 3 the whole upon 2 th. Let's substitute. The value of n is 11. So 11 upon 2, 11 plus 1 the whole upon 2 th. 11 plus 1 is 12, 12 upon 2 is 6. So we have the sixth term. So the, there are two middle terms, sixth term, and this would be definitely the seventh term, the next term. And if we substitute, we'll get the same thing. Let's say 11 plus 3, the whole upon 2. 11 plus 3 is 14, and 14 upon 2 is the seventh term. So in short, we are asked to find two terms, sixth term and the seventh term of this particular expansion. x raised to 4 minus 1 upon x cubed the whole raised to 11. In the previous video, we had studied this formula. Term number r plus 1 is equal to n c r a raised to n minus r b raised to r. Now, we want to find the sixth term. So, this should be t6. So, in order to find t6, we have to put r as 5 like this or 5 plus 1 so 5 plus 1 becomes 6 so the value of r is 5 and not 6 n c r n is 11 c 
5 a raised to n minus r now over here we have our a as x raised to 4 so x raised to 4 the whole raised to n minus r n is 11 r is 5 11 minus 5 is 6 into b raised to r b is minus 1 upon x cubed so minus 1 upon x cubed the whole raised to r r is 5 let me scroll it down so we have our sixth term t6 is equal to 11 c5 11 c5 can be written as 11 into 10 so we start with 11 okay and we write five terms 11 into 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 the whole of one and we start the denominator by with 5 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 multiplied by x raised to 4 the whole raised to 6 so using the law of indices 4 and 6 will multiply so we have x raised to 24 into minus 1 raised to 5 is 1 minus 1 raised to 5 is also 1 minus 1 and x cubed raised to 5 is x raised to 15 let's continue we'll take this negative sign at the very beginning minus let's see what all cancels 5 2 are 10 so that cancels with 10 4 1 are 4 2 are 8 3 1 are 3 3 are 9 so we are left with 11 into 3 into 2 into 7 and that is equal to 462 x raised to 15 cancels with x raised to 24 and we are left with uh, 24 minus 15 that is 9 so we are left with x raised to 9 so this is our sixth term there are two middle terms so this is the first of the two middle terms we still need to find the seventh term using the same way same formula we'll find the seventh term so the seventh term could be written as t 6 plus 1 is equal to 11 c 6 6 plus 1 is 7 that is the seventh term so the value of r is 6 into x raised to 4 multiplied by minus 1 upon x cubed the whole raised to uh, sorry 11 c6 x raised to 4 the whole raised to 6 I'm sorry it's 11 minus 6 that's 5 and we have 6 here. 11 c6 11 c6 is same as 11 c5 because 6 plus 5 is 11 so we can copy this directly 462 so 462 into x raised to 4 5 is 20 into minus 1 raised to 6 is positive 1 x cubed the whole raised to 6 is x raised to 18 this cancels and we are left with x square so 462 into x square so we have 462 x square so this is the seventh term and the second of the middle terms